So the question I'm often asked is, who is La Belle Creole? Who is the subject of the biography? And she is Mercedes Santa Cruz y Montalvo, also known as the Comtesse Merlin or the Condesa Merlin, depending on which language you're speaking. And she was a Cuban-born star of 19th century Parisian society. She hosted the most influential and glamorous of the musical salons that were very popular in that time period. She straddled different cultures. She came from a different place. She was born in uh, the heart of the very interrelated, intricate, and opulent uh, Cuban Creole aristocracy. Almost from her birth, she was separated from her parents who went off to Europe to promote their interest, as one did at the end of the 18th century, because Madrid was the center of all power for uh, the Spanish Empire. And it wasn't until she was 13 that she was sent to Madrid and reunited with her mother. And there began a transformation, a polishing into um, somebody who could fit into the elite society of Madrid. It was a time of great turmoil in Europe, of great uh, upheavals. It was the era of the Napoleonic Wars. It split Spanish society because some people wanted to fight the French, some people wanted to support the French, and people chose sides. Her family, especially her great uncle, who was the head of the family at that point, chose to support the French. And they actually even married her off to a French general. So what drew me to Mercedes and the reason I got involved in this project was I had always been interested in everything that was Cuban um, because of my background. So I often read books or looked into things of history or culture. And they would quote this woman, this Condesa de Merlin, who was this Cuban born, uh, fr but, but lived in France and had come back to visit. And they would just li have little nuggets of information about her. And it sounded absolutely fascinating to me. And I just thought, um, who is this woman? I wanted to know more. When I started looking into her life, I found what I thought almost were too many exaggerations. She knew too many famous people. She had been in too many interesting places at just at certain um, tumultuous times. And I just thought, it can't all be true. There must be um, some exaggeration here. So I decided that the only thing to do was to go back from the beginning and look in the archives, look in the letters and her memoirs and in other other places to really find the true Mercedes. And once I did so, I was just completely captivated by her, and I had to do this project. <laughs>